to gardening in the desert and I am at my friend Vonda's house and we have pruned a couple of her rose bushes and we're about to prune her last rose bush and this rose bush is a type of a tea rose so the roses are smaller uh, pretty yellow little roses and there's a lot of new growth all over the bush and you can see where there's like uh, new leaves coming out and there's like budding along the stems so we're not going to prune this one like we did the others where we took it down to six inches because there's already new growth what we will do though is cut off the brand uh, the buds that have already bloomed and are spent and that will tidy up the look of the uh, bush and also any branches that are crossing and any dead branches so this is a rose bush in Vegas and this is growing zone 9a and native soil is clay but you can tell that the soil here has been amended with mulch and different types of um, soil so this is not planted directly into clay so just going through and um, opening up some areas here and cutting off dead buds And we even found a bud that is, this one right here is going to be, as soon as it grows a little bit more, will also be blooming soon. So we've had a mild winter and that might be one reason for the, the early blooming. Since this one is hanging down, I'm going to go ahead and prune it back a little bit. So even though it wasn't spent, it's um, still just cleaning up the look of the bush. And this one as well. And there's some, any like uh, brown dead areas, I'm just taking and pruning those off. And again, I'm just using the tried and true little Fiskars that I got at uh, I probably got it at Home Depot or Lowe's, maybe Amazon. So it shouldn't be more than 10 or $12 for a pair if you don't have one. So on this one I'm going to go ahead and cut back even though it um, does look healthy. Uh, that will allow for the other buds to, to get some nutrients since that uh, rose bush was on its way out. Or that rose bud, sorry. So there's just some little dead pieces. And this one in the back is actually crossing so I'm going to cut that so that opens up so not a lot to do with this one little bush at the time so with all the new growth again I don't want to cut off the new growth uh, because then we won't have much growth during the summer and it's not bad, not a bad little bush. So next year, a little bit earlier, uh, this one can be pruned back. So since it's mid-January, probably look at pruning this one back in December. So we'll just see how it grows and maybe in the summer we'll have to prune some branches and a little bit to open up or or at least prune off the old roses so that's pruning a rose bush 
Hope you enjoyed the video.